favourite GA day. And we see how the current Galway footballers fared against Sligo. of the GA's 125th anniversary by inviting special guests to recall their favourite day. Now tonight I'm delighted to welcome a man who was on the first ever all-star football team when it was selected in 1971 and he won three All-Irelands in a row with Galway in the mid-1960s. He wore that number 12 shirt in all three finals, 64 to 66. Seamus Layden, you're very welcome. Thank you. And you've chosen as your day the 1966 final, going for the three in a row. That's right. Did you appreciate then how big it was, or do you appreciate it more now? I think we appreciate it more now, yeah. We, um, we had played a lot of football then, but, uh, uh, you know, once you won a final, it was put behind you, and you had something to aim for the following year. So uh, you'd appreciate it more now, especially since it, it hasn't been achieved since. Uh, the only team that uh, had better did are the, Kerry, the great Kerry team, and they uh, had four in a row. And they weren't too bad. They weren't too bad. No, they weren't. Yeah. Now, I was surprised to hear that going into the final, given you'd won the two previous year's finals, that you were underdogs going into the final against Meath. We were, yeah. Um, there were good reasons for that. We, uh, we had to go to New York, or we went to New York to play a league final a real league final against New York and it was yeah. a two-leg affair and you can imagine what Gaelic Park was like at the end of May uh, small pitch and rock hard uh, pitch as well um, very tough matches uh, took, took their toll we came back uh, and we had a buy into the Connacht final that year uh, we got a dispensation from the Connacht Council very lucky to get out of Castle Bar um, a Sir Dunn free from the sideline uh, when you, you, you rarely see as good a, a kick and um, we scraped through um, we're not impressive against I think it was Cork in the semi and Meath were impressive on the other side so we were outsiders yeah, yeah. and yet you ended up winning it comfortably enough yeah. and the scenes at the end were those seemed like mayhem looking at the pictures that's, on the field that's true that's true yeah we uh, we got off to a great start um, but by the way, there was a, the county final in Galway was played uh, two or three weeks before that final, which mm. is, wouldn't happen today now. And um, uh, the, the, the county players on both Griffin's team and the Dunmore team uh, seemingly were flying in that county final. And some very shrewd, shrewd individuals uh, made a lot of money back in Galway at very fancy prices. And the colour and collecting the cup there, you didn't concede much in the final. No, we didn't. We got off to a magic start. Uh, we were five or six points up and then uh, we closed the game off with Matty. Matty got the goal halfway through the first half. And I think the score at half-time was one goal to seven points. What about your own game? How did you play in it? I felt I had a fair good game that day, yeah. Um, I did a lot of uh, rambling around the place, yeah. uh, not, not staying in my position at left half. Mm -hmm. There's the goal uh, now. That's this the goal, is, yeah. yeah. That's the goal, yeah. Um, Matty deadly from six yards. I had I had a, a very tough opponent there in Red Collier now, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know he's a bit like he's a, a Velcro <laughs> man. So he's, <laughs> he's stuck to you. But uh, yeah. he, he he played a lot of ball as well. But I was I was quite happy with my yeah. game that day. Yeah. yeah. And you got a couple of scores, which is always nice scores, for a forward yeah. in the yeah. final. Tis, yeah. 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 Well, we can see some of some of the the game here now. This is you getting away from Red. It's so very different right, with yeah. the terrace behind the goals. It's all very different now, Croke Very Park, different, isn't it? yeah. Very different. You had a bit of a sidestep, hadn't you? Yeah, I had a, a bit of a win, yeah. <laughs> Brian O'Driscoll esque. <laughs> and you used the open punch, I see. You all do. Oh, that was a fisted punch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, getting the ball away, not out of your. You throw it before you punch it. Oh, you throw it yeah. before you punch it, yeah. yeah. Unlike today, that's. And what you do know, you think of the modern pass? Um, I think there's too much of it. 
Do you? I do, yeah, I do. Uh, I well, think the game needs a total overhaul, in fact. You know, it's, it's, uh, we, we, if you look at the championship to date, it's very poor. What, what would you do? What, what would you? Oh, if I, if I, I, I'd be very radical. Would you? <laughs> I would, yeah, I would. I, I'd go to, I think I'd go to 13 a side. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd go back then to 60, or even 12 a side. Go back to 60 minutes. Um, um, I'd introduce, uh, consider introducing the mark. Mm. Um, and a lot of other things. Because you are uh, radical. I, well, I, I, <laughs> that's why no one will ever listen to what, what I have to say. But I, I think it does need a radical overhaul. Well, it's well, having a bad year. No. Well, we'll see, and we'll, go, we'll, we'll get your comments on the current Galway match in a right. few minutes. But right. in the meantime.